Hello everyone, happy Wednesday and welcome back to another day trading recap video. I'm here with my main man, Jesus, right behind me. And right now we're looking at the XPX, which just totally fell off a cliff um, pretty drastically. And that's pretty much what happened to most of the stocks we were looking at once the market opened. It was a tough trading day today. So if you were red today, there's no shame in that. It, it was tough. Yesterday I was red. Um, and there was really no major reason for that. I should have had a green day yesterday. Today, I'm up slightly green, and I feel like maybe I can keep trading, but I got a call coming up here soon, uh, or a meeting, and uh, I still got my headache um, from Monday. Monday, I was floored. I didn't do a recap video. If you guys remember, I had a huge stomach flu. Uh, and, or actually, I'm, yeah, I'm up uh, $92 right now, so 150 on VIV, VIVK. And so it's a very small green day. Um, basically just a scratch day you know i i couldn't really get any momentum in either way it could have been a small red day uh that would have been also totally fine and i just feel like maybe calling it here is, is probably the right decision especially because monday it was like I was, I was down like 50 bucks or something yesterday i was down like 600 bucks um you know halfway towards my max loss in the day so in the, and today you know i'll just take a small green day hopefully try to get things in the right direction. You got to remember right now it's earnings season and earnings season is never a good time to trade small caps. At least they get overshadowed really quickly. And right now we're getting, you know, tons of small caps that are moving, um, but they're all kind of overshadowing each other at the same time. So it's, it's really tough market out there. We're not getting those, you know, three, four, five pullbacks, sometimes even nine pullbacks in a row, and you could just really milk the heck out of a nice front side. We're not getting any of that. We're getting a lot of chop. We're getting a lot of flushes. And I you know, I could just feel like my next trade, all of a sudden getting stuck in like a 10% flush or something like that. And I'd be like, nah, I, sh I knew I should have called it. Um, so really quickly here, COSM, uh, you know, ticker I'm down on the most, you know, only 30 bucks, but still, um, you know, high relative volume, pretty nice. I mean, it was a backside pattern, but good breakout here. And I thought maybe we'd see a good run to three. Um, healthcare uh, company shares 17.5 and 35 million market cap. Um, let's see, th this ticker had no news. So that was a little bit iffy. Now, pre market, we actually did push higher and we did hit almost $3. Um, but we didn't, you know, hit managed to hit that area again. Maybe we will today. I wouldn't be surprised uh, when I'm documenting my trades tomorrow that this ticker just, you know, pops up uh, and maybe hits 27 or so. We got to break this downtrend. So right now I'm not interested in trading it. And that's another reason I'm wrapping up. There's no ticker for me to trade right now based on my strategy. You know, in terms of the one minute, yeah, you could see how choppy this one was. Now, there was some opportunity, obviously. Um, and I actually did all right on this one originally. This move right here, um, I got a good little pop here, but it's on smaller size. I made like 200 bucks, nothing crazy. Um, but unfortunately, I was distracted right here. I got in a conversation with somebody um, offline and it was bad timing. So when I'm in Berlin, usually I have like my, my trading hours, like no one could go in my trading room right now, but right, uh, or when I'm over there. Um, and I, I try to get really focused. I still miss stuff, of course, but uh, here I'm at my friend's par um, parents' house and, oh, you know, there's there's a lot of commotion, which is totally fine as well, you know. Um, I'm I'm not trying to blame anyone, it just happens. So I, I remember looking at this, then I was getting conversation, it popped up and I was like, ah, you know, it was kind of a perfect one minute pullback. Um, anyway, I went for this one minute pullback, basically the same thing, but I, at this point it was a little extended and I, I took a pretty decent size loss here. I actually made back most of the losses, but I instantly I went down like, I don't know, it was like 100 or uh, $200 negative on COSM. So I, I lost a substantial amount on this flush. It was also a bigger size. I think my, I was like along 6,000 shares. Uh, I made back a little bit here, and then I think this was a scratch, and then, I don't know, this was small share size. And yeah, the market open, um, I, I had a small profit and a very small loss. This actually looks like a big loss, but I went for this breakout. I thought we were gonna get a reversal. So I was kind of not trading my strategy. This was a ranging move, maybe even a backside, but I would call it more of a range because we have support and resistance. Um, and then again, uh, a little bit of a ranging move where I was looking for that. You know, I was buying low on the range and looking for a pop. So. Um, both times I just cut my losses really quickly. I barely even took a loss and both times were really small sizes. These are actually losses that when they happen, I'm actually kind of proud of myself because it's like, it wasn't an A plus setup, but at the same time, the market's not really that good. So, you know, sometimes you have to be a little bit unorthodox in your trading strategy. Sometimes it really pays off this time. It didn't, but I realized I'm a little sick, you know, it's not the best trading. So let me at least 
reduce my risk by reducing my size and that was phenomenal because even this this loss right here you know, I took like a $20 loss if I went full size with like 10,000 shares or something um, this would have been pretty brutal so even you know even a two cent loss um, and who knows maybe I would have got slippage and then you know all of a sudden I'm, I'm down like a thousand two thousand dollars um, because you know that was a seven percent sell-off so that's that's really what it is um, about oftentimes when you're not feeling a hundred percent size down a little bit keep on trading but you know size down and then at one point just you know decide when to call it but um, if it's hot and you're feeling good and you know the, the the stars are aligning that's when you want to use triple quadruple size so on and so forth and start sizing higher and higher but you know not on a day like today it's 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 pretty much that simple um, with AFIB I'm down 25 on this one uh, nothing really too crazy uh, daily chart healthcare company um, 28 million shares outstanding 29 million market cap yeah I don't know not much to say there I mean the stats are pretty nice and it does have um, some catalysts coming out here um, funding strategic growth priorities problem is even with this high relative volume it didn't really budge the ticker too much um, pre-market it tried you know and this move here was actually quite nice it was like an 80 percent move but then it just totally crashed uh, you know so sold off here and I didn't get in on any of this because I don't trade until 7 a.m. that's right in this area which is TOS pre-market when it starts so I was watching this and it popped back over here and I actually had a small win on this one or did I yeah I had a small win then where's my loss on this trade is it not popping up hmm maybe I did trade it somewhere wait no that wouldn't even make sense I think I traded it on one of these attempts to break VWAP. I think that's what it was. Um, and then I had my second trade in this area, and um, I don't know why the other one's not popping up. I actually had a small win here. I was looking for that breakout. It was you know, a good five minute, good one minute, uh, but we didn't get the breakout. So closed it, small loss, not a big deal. With VIVK, believe it or not, I didn't trade this one pre-market, or at least I don't remember I did. I'll just, we'll see in a second. Backside pattern overall, but it had you know big nice high relative volume spike today. Huge resistance around four six or so. So that was the the spot to watch, and also four dollars. I mean that's just a psychological zone um, with the former resistance and support as well. Um, industrial, let's see, commercial company, da, da, commercial services and supplies, environmental facility services. Okay, fifty million shares outstanding and sixty six million market cap with a nice catalyst here. Company announced. It has signed a 10-year contract with Hot Oil Transport. Right here, you can see it is uh, with a potential value of $250 million. So really nice catalyst. Everything like kind of stars aligning is what it feels like. And right now, it's actually popping up um, pretty OK. Um, so it might even be worth to keep watching. Um, the thing is, on at the open, I, I didn't actually end up trading this one. This was such a quick pop. Um, in basically three minutes, it's up like 130%, really in two minutes, and then total of like almost two, around 200%. Um, but you know, this flush right here, this was like a 34% or so flush. That was pretty disgusting. Um, the market open, this one was a little bit tough. We had this break here, VWAP, you could see um, right here, the break of VWAP. I, I bought into that. Um, this was a good trade. I just, unfortunately, small share size. I did another trade here. And then right now it's having another break, which is actually looking really, really good. Um, definitely worth watching. This ticker is a little bit sketchy because of the way it's been flushing and it is coming towards some bigger resistance. Let's just go ahead and, and watch it for a second here. Um, see how it behaves. So five minute nice breakout, one minute pretty had a pretty decent pullback. It feels a little extended right here, especially because that big resistance above. Um, I think it's still worth watching here for that attempt to break over four seven into the fives. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of getting a little feel for for this ticker. Let's see how it behaves. I would actually like it to maybe sell off a little bit more first. Um, start buying into the pullback with smaller size and see if we can get that last little pop to the upside. I'm going to be quite conservative on this one. Let's see if it goes below just a little bit more. I'm totally fine missing it. Let's see, 34, getting a little bit more resistance here. I'm going to put on a small size uh, or, uh, limit order at 428. Maybe we can get an entry into this one. Um, let's see, 434. Let's see if it pulls off a little bit more. It's had, you know, four rejections now. It's quite a bit. Five minute, 
It's a bit high. Volume, really nice volume here, but it is overall fading, so that's not ideal to see that fading volume. We have really good support around 428. Okay, small fill there with size. Uh, let's see if we can size up a little bit more and then sell into a pop over four or five. That's um, going to be the goal. Still struggling here a little bit. Just the last uh, little amount of size there. See if we can take a little bit of risk off the table and see if we can get that break of four or five. Not bad. Sometimes these have a few flushes in the wrong direction again. So that's why I'm being a little bit hesitant here. Take a little bit more and then see if we can hold that last little amount for this breakout, which I'm not super optimistic in, just kind of the way um, we've been seeing this ticker get rejected so many times. So I'm, I'm not super, if I was optimistic, um, I would be holding full size for the break of four or five. But it's just not something And I'm kind of nervous that even if we do get that break of four or five, I, I see that resistance coming in. Mm, yep, 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 yep. So let's just close here for. So yeah, it's it's a shaky day, and that, that so that's why I was kind of closing this one. So I don't know. That was maybe a break even trade, maybe a small loss. Uh, yeah, so a small loss there. Um, I think it was worth holding, um, because I thought maybe we would get a very quick. Um, breakout here at four or five and then I was gonna sell into that breakout um, but yeah just like that and that's what I was saying in the beginning of this recap video like it's not it's not a great uh, trading day overall um, it just feels really choppy right usually um, right here in this area I would I would want to either start sizing or I would be just holding um, and then I'll take profits into a nice breakout and then I'll be buying the first pullback. So what I mean, so that's what I said in the beginning of this, uh, you know, recap video today is just like the continuation. There hasn't been good continuation. So I got a pretty good entry. Um, I, th I think I closed my first size maybe a little bit too soon. Um, and that second size, that was actually a good one. And then, like I said, I was waiting for that breakout and then just instantly it flushed. Um, so really what I was trying to do is just reduce my risk along the way which usually in a hot market when things are working good isn't really the like the plan, right? But in a shaky market like this, you, you want to take some profits, you want to get green, and you kind of want to call it. So again, uh, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. You know, I could care less if, again, if I'm, you know, up or down one or $200, it doesn't, it's a total scratch day. Um, but again, I am kind of hoping that we get a little bit more momentum, then I can start sizing again. So that's really what it comes down to. Kind of fun that I was able to do a little bit of a live trade again. Um, you know, it's been a while since we used to stream the market open. Uh, so, so that was good fun. But um, yeah, that's that's all for me today. Good luck anyone that's still trading. Just be really careful. I mean, this could pop back to four or five. Maybe it's going to even, you know, run past five. Um, but I bet you again today we're going to see, you know, if it does do something like that, we're going to see a big flush. So um, for me, you know, it's a big no-go at the moment, especially when you start seeing flushes like this and the, um, the overall market's just, you know, taking it um, a nice tank. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call it. Take my $58 in profits and chili vanilla. Don't forget to drop a like on the way out. Consider subscribe if you're new and like always, stay safe and make some awesome trades. Ciao, ciao.